It's time for Eric Plays Spelunky. Alright, so why am I playing Spelunky? Well, because right now I'm reading the boss fight book, um, Spelunky, written by Derek Yu, the creator of Spelunky, and it just made me want to play some Spelunky. So, that's what I'm going to do. See how long I last in Spelunky 1 here. It's been really neat to um, read about his thought process and how he created the levels, um, how he decided on the damsels and the dudezils and all that stuff. Um, it's it's really cool. Uh, but yeah, I've been mostly playing uh, Splunky 2, as you guys know. I think I've played at least twice as much, if not four times as much. But I just want to give this a shot, see where, where we end up. Uh, it was also neat seeing how he he discussed the um, what you might call it the uh, ratios for the enemies, like how he decided how many of each type of enemy there was going to be. And oh shoot, it kind of goes along well with the um, the game design class I took, which is basically you kind of play and explore and try to figure out what's a good ratio and over time you kind of see oh yeah this many bad guys looks good or bad or makes it too hard or <coughs> in his case part of it was about telling a story about what types of like animals might go together or um, that the tiki men are kind of like maybe another tribe similar to the regular cavemen so all of that I found extremely fascinating There's the box. Let's see if I can find the key. Huh! The gun. Oh shoot. I wonder if I can use that to like immediately kill this dude. Oh, no! How did he not die from the gunshot? What? <laughs> I thought you. I thought he was going to be a one-hit kill. I thought, oh, my, what luck to have a gun right there next to the shop owner. That's hilarious. Shopkeeper, I mean. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Well, those are definitely making the highlight reel for the end of the year, I think. Oh my gosh. Oh man, I can't wait till Daniel sees this episode. I mean... Ah! True story, that's most of the reason why I do these episodes is for Dan. So, like I've mentioned many times before, it just reminds me of when we were little playing games together. Oh cool, just what I need after all my stupid mistakes. He's probably going to be like, you almost hit yourself on the head of the rock. And I did. I did almost hit myself on the head of the rock. So I'm playing this with my um, my Apeit Do Pro 2. Oh, there we go. Um, <coughs> overall, it's fine. My only complaint would be that the um, the joystick is a little loose compared to the Xbox controller, which is kind of bad in a game like this one. It's not, it's not horrible. I wouldn't blame it for any of my debts. Those are all just my own incompetence, but... Nice. Oh yeah, one of my favorite stories from, um... book is um oh shoot 
when he talked about um, one of his friends playing and um, this uh, Tiki guy or kid, yeah, a Tiki guy, yeah, ends up um, thinking that he needs to, uh, that he, he dropped a boomerang, but really he ends up stealing the boomerang from the shop owner and just causes like mayhem in the, um, the black market. But that was a really fun story. He was using it to illustrate the emergent gameplay that comes from from his game and the way he designed it. Oh boy. Ah! Ooh, lucky me. Alright, not enough money for any of that stuff. Hopefully these climbing gloves end up being worth the money. Alright, ooh. Yeah, set that off, set it off. Yeah, no, don't worry about that anymore. Well, this should at least save me ropes to some degree, yeah? Look at that. Alright, well, I don't want to get hurt by the scorpion, so let's just keep going. What the heck was that? Wonder if it was a caveman that set off a bomb or something? It's funny, and I mentioned this last time I played Splunky 1, but the graphics are mostly the same, but it's like the little things, like the way the bats look, where you're like, oh yeah, this is... Definitely a different game. Spider, there we go. I was like, the spider's gonna end up falling on my head and I'm gonna be upset about that. I'm trying to trigger the um, skeleton so if he was gonna walk, he wouldn't surprise me by falling on my head somehow. All right, let's see what we got going on here. We've got the lockbox. Where's the key? Or there. <laughs> White, give me what I wanted, but. Alright, um. Guess we'll just let it go. Let's see. Get some more money, anyways. Maybe. I mean, clothes are kind of making this a little harder than it should be. There we go. Uh-huh. Alright. We're onto the jungle already. <coughs> Alright. Can't see a thing. Forgot about those things. Hey, yeah, it's a key man. So. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Mm. I wish I had spike shoes. Piranhas. Frogs. But I'm. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, no, 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 no. Shit. I am. in there that I can see. <laughs> Funny. Oh boy. Close to frog. with me. Oh boy. Go from a little bit higher. 
There you go. No fish in there. Oh no. Definitely fish there though. What up, monkey? Okay, you wait here. Um. Yeah. Oh boy. This doesn't end well, does it? Can't see how it does. Oh boy. Oh boy. No, 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 no. God dang. Got my ropes back though. Oh my god, I can't believe that frog hasn't died yet. There we go. That little baby frog fell. Oh boy, if I make it out of this part, I'll be surprised. Let's see what I can do. Cool. One bad guy eliminated. Two bad guys eliminated. Playing unnaturally good. This is scary. Oh, I killed my damsel. Didn't mean to. Just wanted to distract that dude. Rushing water. This is one that has a whole bunch of fish at the bottom. Oh, man trap, unfortunately. Oh boy, don't know how I'm going to do this. Well, I've got one bomb left. I detonated it in just the right spot. At least done with this level. Beyond that, who knows. Alright. Cool. The dude that was here too. I'm gonna kill that man trap, because why not? No! Well, I didn't have the bombs to get at that box. Alright, let's see if I make it to the... What's that called? Ice levels. best option. Alright, no more Uga. Oh boy, scary. Hey! Yes. Oh boy. Crazy frogs, crazy frogs. Oh good, he died. Oh good, I made it to the ice levels. Look at that, I'm having a good run. Just a minute here. Alright. <coughs> smells like wet fur in here. Whoa. God dang. The woolly mammoth is dangerous. Cross attack. Whoa. Alright, let's figure out where I'm going first. That's a lot of woolly. Whoa. An unmacked. Unlocked the deathmatch arenas. But those not unlocked on this game for me? Interesting. Oh, look. A, a dude I don't have yet. That's cool beans. Oh boy. This guy's gonna keep reviving? No, I got him, right? Yeah. More of these dudes. I get over there. Definitely want a new dude. Guess it doesn't matter that it smells like wet fur since I've got this thing. But there's a dog. Huzzah! Oh boy. Oh boy. No, 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 no. Yikes, not you two. Shit. 
kind of needed that. Oh boy. Shit. God darn it. Oh, now I've got it. There you go. climb up there and then I can shoot that mofo. Yo! Cool! I got an Eskimo. Or First Nations person, if that's what we say now. Oh, there's the exit. Yes, uh, although I lost my boomerang. But I gained a friend. Who did not come with me to the end, unfortunately. All right, cool. So, upset dude here. I now know what he's for. I don't have the onk though, so it's not for anything in, for me. All right, let's see where I have to go. Game of luck here. Why not? Just don't show up on death. No, no, no. Huzzah. Alright. Let's see, there's a damsel there. Good thing I bought those gloves, man. They turn out to be pretty useful. Oh my god. Alright, don't fall. That's what I'm seeing here. Oh, cool. We did it. Alright. Cool. Can I buy some stuff? Yeah. New journal entry. Thank you. Alright. Uh... Yeah, not worth risking it, I don't think. Oh, scary. Oh boy. Just taking it the safe way, safe route. Oh boy. Scared me. <laughs> not to Olmec yet, or wherever I go. Whoa, feels like the 4th of July. Alright, so that means there's... A whole bunch of bad guys. Um, bad guys. A whole bunch of aliens. Alright. Don't know if these guys will still throw me if I have spike shoes, so I'm not gonna mess with it. At the same time... There we go. Okay. Gotcha. There we go. Whoa, scary. Whoa, there goes my box. Oh, it's still there. Parachute. So annoying. I mean, um, treach- uh, evil that there's a, uh, bomb right next to the exit door. Oh boy. That was crazy. Almost went right over the edge. A large boulder is blocking my path. Three bombs. Did I have three bombs? Oh yeah, because I bought a bunch of bomb bags. Cool. Nice. <coughs> this isn't my first time here. This is close to my first time here in Splunky 1. Oh, mummy. Giant mummy. Oh yeah, he has like flies in his mouth or something, I think. Okay. Oh, scary. Those things, which I know from Spelunky 2. Crazy boxes. Oh yeah. He definitely has flies. Bad breath. Mix. Oh boy. Scary. Crazy alligator dude. Hopping around like he's very upset. Whoa. Did it. Cool. That was unexpected. 
Go away, bad breath guy. Can I freeze him? Yes! Damn it! Oh boy. That didn't work out, did it? There we go. Oh, what hit me? Aww. An ancient mummy has gotten his revenge on humanity. Cool. Alright, that was awesome. Go back to the main menu for a second. Oops. Wrong button. Killed by mummy. Where's my diary? Oh, maybe that's only when I'm in the game. So now, if I go to play game... They're not... I'm gonna have to go back and see what I had before. What did, what did I just unlock before? Oh, maybe I, I unlocked a new level in here? I'm not sure. Alright. Well, anywho. That was a ton of fun. This has been Eric playing Spelunky. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.